Hey everyone, doing a video here really quick on how to make sure that your system at home is as secure as it can get. So one of the options that I have listed here, and I'll list out more options as the video goes along. The first one is to turn on your hardware router's firewall and then upgrade your firmware. So what I have here is I logged into my router and I went from basic to advanced. I have a TP-Link router. You go down to security and it comes up with settings by default. Click on the SPI firewall, so that will enable your hardware firewall or your wireless router's firewall. And you also want to click on DOS protection, and then click on the ignore pings, so that way any ping request coming in is just ignored. Uh, the other three options here, I don't tend to turn those on unless I'm running a server. I, I, I mean, you can if you want, but... I, I don't think it's entirely necessary. It, it will slow down your router traffic a little because your processor has to um, scan more of the packets coming in. So it, it's, it's up to you. All right, the second step here is turn on your software firewall. Now, in theory, if you have your hardware's, uh, uh, hardware router's firewall enabled, you typically don't need your software firewall enabled. But, you know, there, it's, it's controversial. Uh, just to be safe, I, I would say turn it on. So I'll do that really quick here, show you what you need to do. All right, so click that, go to settings, uh, update and security, um, Windows security, uh, open Windows security, man, it's buried. Oh, wait, no, this isn't it. This is for, um, yeah, the... Well, I guess it is here, too. Uh, there's so many different ways of getting to the same thing. So, anyways, um, what you're looking for is to make sure your firewall is on. Now, by default, uh, Windows does come with the firewall already on. So, I mean, it, it could be somebody turned it off or whatever. But, uh, I mean, this is kind of the place that you do it. Another place that you can do it is go through the original control panel. So, that's under Windows Defender Firewall. And then, here, you see that it's connected, it's on, it's working. Um, if you want to see what it's like without being turned on, there's a big old red, you know, warning, firewall's turned off. So, you know, make sure it's turned on. <laughs> so let's turn that back on. All right. So for the third one here. All right. So for the, the third one here, it's make sure your virus scanner is actively scanning and updating regularly. Now, there's a whole bunch of different free virus scanners out there, as well as free software firewalls. I'm going with the basic. So that's the uh, the normal Windows security, Windows, um, Windows virus scanner thing. So make sure it's on, make sure it's scanning, and make sure the updates are going. Those are the three important things. And for the last one, make sure your Windows up to date. Um, whew, make sure your Windows update is up to date. <laughs> kind of a tongue twister there. Okay, so the very last one here is you don't want to open up any email attachments or go to any links from people you don't know. So that's one of the biggest ways that uh, major systems are compromised. People open up email attachments, and then the virus or the program inside of it is able to bypass a lot of the uh, security measures. Or, you know, they have you go to a link, which then bypasses the security measures. If you don't know the person that you're getting the email from, please don't open up the email attachment. And you might even want to go so far as to call up and confirm, you know, did you actually send me this attachment? Uh, you know, kind of a two-step verification. If you get an email that I, well, like, for example, today I got one. I'm not actually going to show you because of privacy. Uh, it said, uh, thank you for registering your email. Um, please come to this website to continue your registration and get this free prize. And it's like, I, I know I didn't register for this link for this company. And, I, and so I just, you know, marked it as spam and I was done with it. So, yeah, if, if you don't take anything else away from this, please don't open up attachments or links from people you don't know. It's extremely dangerous. <laughs> so um, just to review really quick, turn on your router's firewall. Make sure your software firewall is on. Fire scanner actively scanning. I mean, it's not, you don't have to scan, like, in the background, it, it scans files that are open. You don't have to constantly have the scanner running, I, I guess I should clarify. And then don't open up email attachments or go to links from people you don't know. So that's it. Hope you liked it.